should get an internet. So, I think I've mentioned this in a vlog before, but I had decided to buy a VR system because one, some of the games on it are really awesome, but more importantly, two, it's kind of a form of exercise equipment, isn't it? And especially when you're playing games like Beat Saber. So, oh yeah, I wanted to double check this. Okay. That's for my partner. Uh, so, roughly, I'm currently at three days a week. I'm going to be increasing it to five days a week soon. I have been playing Beat Saber. Um, so, I've mentioned before, but my upper arm strength is basically zero. Uh, so, as a result... I'm using this to exercise the upper part of my body because all I'm really doing is carrying around these um, the Valve Index controllers. I have a Valve Index. And they're pretty light, but I'm using my arms. You can see the... Like, where you see the little like stick things here, that's actually where the controller is. So my arms are grabbing that. Hi, ah, Asun. Yes, The hazards of VR include a kitty at your feet. Anyway. So, I've been primarily using this song here. As my form of exercise, because I'm actually fairly decent at it at this point. I've been working on Expert. I still can't win on Expert, but you know. It's something that I've been working on. I have a few custom levels. The custom levels are all really hard for me to do. Um, the one that I showed that was for my partner is actually one that a friend of mine made for me. So, yeah. I sort of have the uh, settings correct for recording now. Um, for the time being, I'm just doing display recording of everything on that display. What I will end up doing in the future is recording the window itself. Right now, it's actually recording at ultra-wide. And I am just focusing on the middle section, because that's the part that matters. I don't even see the entire thing, so for reference, that is as far over to the left as I can see. That is as far over to the right that I can see. Not the line itself, where it's actually pointing. That's my current peripheral with these glasses. I accidentally hit the IPD when I meant to hit something else. Uh, let's give me a moment. Really wish I can actually find the prescription that I scanned in. Then I can dial in the correct IPD. So there's settings on the VR headset to have the lenses go out and in. I have it all the way in and I'm not wearing my glasses right now because my glasses are... So, the this particular headset, the Valve Index, is set for the idea that everything you're seeing is two meters away. So, if you can focus two meters away without your glasses, you don't need glasses. I can, it's right on the edge of the point where I should be wearing glasses, but it's also right on the edge of the point where I should be wearing glasses, which means that's actually the worst possible location for anything. So, maybe at some point, what I may end up doing is actually getting prescription lenses to put into here. They actually do make them. Yes, yes, soon, I know. He normally doesn't do this, but he's been crying today. Anyway. Let's play one that I know how to do first. Ooh. Hold on a moment. Let's try that again. Feline interference. The kitty's right over here, if, you know, you could see that. Um, so you'll notice that I don't have a face cam or anything like that. I'm actually really nervous about people looking at me doing this. Oh, and I should mention, I'm not good at this game. I am bad, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to play it. It's because it's something that I can start getting used to. Uh, four weeks ago, I was able to defeat this particular song on easy. It goes easy, normal, hard, expert, expert plus. And at this point, I could reliably win on hard. And in fact, most songs I can win on hard at this point. Anyway, yeah, um, the face cam thing. So 
I don't like the way I look. It's fairly obvious. I have BDD uh, or a body dysmorphia disorder, and I don't see myself. Um, on top of it, I have a lot of self-image issues, which means that I can't stand to look at myself when I'm doing anything athletic. So any of these recordings that I may end up doing for at least the time being, probably not for a long time, I'm not going to have a face cam of any variety. Okay? Let's start this over. That's better. so good at the upside down ones. It does not help that my flooring is moving now. Always has problems registering. I'm gonna have to look at the footage to see what exactly happened because I should have gotten that and this should have been my newest high score. I missed one. One. Anyway, um, I should talk a little bit about the setup. So, this little square that you see over here, let me walk closer. You notice the deck like boundaries that you're seeing here that's actually the boundaries of the play space that i have available um it's not quite the size of the glowing rectangle but it's fairly close um for reference it's roughly three meters by three meters this is rectangular so one of the dimensions is slightly lower but i'm using my basement i did a small video on it when i was doing my uh vita and I still don't have things great. Um, uh, let's see how to describe. So there's a sensor over here. Normally it's supposed to be mounted on the wall and I had it on the wall many times, but it kept falling off. Turns out the reason why it was falling off is that my cats have been trying to use it to jump up because that makes sense. And over on top of the wall is where they have their old litter boxes and they keep, you know, Trying to use them instead of using the ones in their room because they don't want a litter box in the area that they're sleeping. It makes sense, but it's annoying. But it means that I don't have the sensor bars mounted. The other sen- or not sensor bar, um, lighthouse. The other lighthouse is over here on this corner. And this lighthouse is just sitting on top of a cat cage. But the cats don't go on top of that, so that actually is fine. 
The idea is that I want him to actually be screwed into wall and ceiling joists, but that is for another day, and probably another month. Uh, quarantine has made me exhausted, to put it mildly, and mentally exhausted, not physically exhausted, for the most part. This is not helping with physical exhaustion. I'm not used to exercise. Uh, let's try a different song. Maybe try to sight read something. We'll play a beat saber. Let's go with this one. I'm gonna try sight reading on hard. This is a bad idea. sight reading so far. Uh, I hate ducking. My back's actually hurting, so... Oh, didn't notice what color that was. Oh, well. Looks like this will be us ranking, most likely. I've never done before, which is to be expected. Ooh, my arms are getting tired. Who would have thought waving my arms around like a fool would hurt? Oh wait, me. Whole reason why I'm doing this. wasn't too bad. Probably get fairly decent at that once I get used to it. Ah, first time doing it, not too bad. I missed three cuts. That's not bad for me. And yeah, there's a lot of YouTubers that are really good at Beat Saber. I am not that at all. <sighs> okay, that's probably enough. Um... Just wanted to show, hey, look, this is something that I've been doing, and part of the reason why I've been so quiet is that I've been using this as my thing that eats up spare time. So, I'll talk to you later, Internet. Hope you're having a nice kitten during quarantine and so on, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>